So this is a 20 valve black top 4AG Toyota engine. Um, that's the stock ECU, stock harness, how I did the um, Koyo on plug conversion. So I got these coils from Amazon. They're for a Honda. They look like this. I'll put a description in the link below. But I have to find some that are smaller. As you can see. And then I got these pigtails from the junkyard. From various Hondas. I mean, I got them from V6 Hondas, 4-cylinder Hondas. And they're the three-prong. As you can see, I got my... They look like that, like this. I got them from various Hondas because I wanted them all to be the same, all the signal wires to be the same color. And ironically, the signal wire on these is yellow with green. And the signal wire on the stock harness happens to be yellow with green. So it worked out I, I, because I didn't want different colors everywhere. But anyways, yeah, the three prong ones. I'm um, using the stock ECU igniter and the coil. The way you wire these up is you got three. You got three wires. You got your signal wire. You got your, come on, focus, power wire. And you got your ground wire. So I got all of the power wires on each pigtail on the coils. Right here, going to 12 volts. See this red wire goes all the way to my little junction box right here. Right there, got 12 volts. This this one goes to the battery, which powers all of these. This is my ECU side, and then my um, fuel pump, and this is for my electric fan, which I don't have connected right now, but yeah. And then, but it's not constant voltage. It's, you know, um, power at the switch. And then you have your ground side, which is the middle one, which I have all bundled up here. Now, this is all for show. I just did it. I haven't made it neat or any way. So, so this is all connected to the ground side on my battery. Over there, this little wire is on the ground side of my battery. And then my signal wire on the igniter. You have... This yellow with green stripe wire, that's your IGT wire, your signal wire. It's a wire that comes from the ECU to the igniter that sends a signal to ignite the coil. And once that coil ignites, it sends the spark to the rotor, the shipper cap, and then to your spark plug and, you know, so forth and so on. But I tapped into that wire. So every time that ECU sends a signal wire, it sends a signal to the pigtail to the coil to ignite now because i have all four of them as you can see all the signal wires are connected all four of them it's called a batch fire meaning they're all gonna fire at the same time but because this is this is a i believe sequential injection um you can it, it works because usually you know you would have issues at the bottom of the intake stroke and it would ignite and then you would have fire come out your intake but not in this case so the way i have it wired up is so first things first you need to have your igniter and your coil hooked up and hooked up they're hooked up because you have two wires well you have more than two wires but Two out of those wires coming from the ECU to the igniter and the coil. You have two wires, the IGT wire and the IGF wire. The IGT wire sends a signal from the ECU to the igniter to ignite the coil. And then you have your IGF wire, which pretty much tells the ECU from the igniter to the ECU that, hey, the signal has been, the coil has been fired, send another signal. And you need that because if you only, as you can see, I cut it off. I didn't know, but you know, that's why I, I use this little clips to connect it back to the, from the ECU wire to the back, to the coils on plugs to back to the um, igniter itself. 
you need it or else you will not get the IGF signal back to the ECU and you'll have problems where it will start and then shut off because the ECU is not getting a signal from the IGF wire from the igniter saying hey the signal was sent send another one it's not getting that signal so the ECU will not send another signal to the coils to fire so but you also need the coil connected because one of these is power one of these is I guess ground coming from the igniter and that's how I guess the IGF works don't know but I just know you need it um, but yeah uh, you do need to have you know them all connected uh, but yeah I'll show you so yeah so signal wire is on the left side it's always the colored stripe wire and then you have the middle one which is negative and then you have the one to the opposite side of the stripe wire which is power so power ground and then signal wire and i'll show you how it works so let me turn my there we go and then now this is side the wire that i have made Do you guys see how it died once I disconnected? via IGT wire or yellow with green stripe wire it died because the igniter wasn't getting a signal to ignite the coil to send a signal back to the igniter from the coil to tell the ECU from the IGF wire to hey send another signal so you have to have it connected also I'll show you another thing going there you go I will show you what happens when you don't have this connected the the coil hold on baby. Hold on, baby. Let me show people this real quick. 